Well, hello there. I'm praying that this works. I'm praying that the good Lord does shine his light on top of my damn head. Do, do, do. Yo, my hair, dear user. My hair, you can see, like, it looks like I've got hair. I don't. It's coming out of my goddamn head, man. That's why I invest in lots of good headgear, man. Let's see who gets on this damn thing. This is Islington. People call it Islington. They mispronounce it. It's Islington, just like it's island. Okay? Not Islington like Island. It's island. So just understand. Ro, yo. So now, um, here we are. The good old tube. Tube, tube, tube. So I tell people, and I'll tell you guys. You got to start your day with some kind of schedule. Schedule. You got to write this goddamn thing down. Write some goddamn thing down, guys. Pay attention. Yo, you like my new bike? It's a beaut, beer user. Guys, pay attention. I've got the book here, right? The book of ridiculously good looks. Right? Guys, you open the goddamn book anywhere. You got a goddamn pen. Do, 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 do. Guys, you write shit down. What shit? Yo, this shit, that shit. Worse than those little limp biscuit bastards in Moby. You don't even know me. So blow me, you 40 year old. This is a what? This is a dollar on a shopping list that is still. Yo, you write it down, it happens. You speak it, it happens. Moby, you don't, the one around my shopping list that's still ongoing. I just got mosquito spray. I didn't get gasoline. I got paint. I didn't get soap. I got nuts. I just gave nuts to some guy who was sleeping over there. It's nuts, guys. Guys, every day you, you write down the date, okay? You draw stuff. You write down a note. You write down your to-dos for the day. Do you understand that you're... Guys, do you, under, do you understand the goddamn thing, first of all? Do you understand, dear user, that, 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 your to-dos for the day, those goddamn things add up, man. So now, you've got to break down. You write down numbers, write down anything that's on your mind. Like, the reason that you're overwhelmed, my dear users, you don't do this. This is like magic. It's like voodoo magic. Do, 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 do. Okay, so now. You write down. So today, this is what I wrote down. I wrote down, como mi esposa, a note to God. I wrote down my destination, Scarborough Center. I wrote down the date in here. Thank you, God, for A, restoring my bicycle. What I meant by this is that this bike belongs to me. It's like we're soulmates, right? I had two bikes. One of them was stolen. One of them I left on the goddamn TTC. And it's gone. It's gone. Like John Gotti. Yo, getting, thank you, God, for getting me all these nice clothes and shoes. Check out these fucking shoes, eh? These are like Sperry. Something like Sperry. Like, what is it? Sperry. Yo, yeah, Sperry dog sliders. I've been in love with these shoes since I was a kid, you understand? Like, when I was a. Oh, when I was a young lad. When he was a young. When he was a young boy. Yo, when I was a young lad, I was in love with this shit, yo. This shit, that shit. So here's a, a nice station to come out to and visit, guys. When you're in Toronto, yo, you can see the birdies on the uh, on the window there. This is Old Mill. So down there is a creek, guys. And I've seen people fishing recently. I've seen two sets of people that I interacted with, like kids and then some rednecks who had like seven fishing rods set up with worms. The next station is Jane. I don't Jane know if those goddamn guys had any luck, but... Oh yeah, there was a third guy who wanted to fight me. Fight me, fight me. So I shouted at him. Yo, you go down there, like you saw the water right now, dear user. You go down there in September, you see your arm, your goddamn arm, that's how long a fish you will catch. My wife and I, Pudit, 
we went when I was living next to uh, I was living next to uh, basically it's called Long Branch Long Branch goddamn uh, bus station something like this write down stuff guys so I will show you what I write down what I wrote down when I tell you about this business with the fish so there was a beautiful trail going from lake shore like the actual shore of the lake up and it passes over lake shore boulevard okay it's a beautiful area uh i want to live there again uh, it's it's tough because right now i'm in between jobs literally and i'm in between places i gotta move by tomorrow and uh, i got like two or three job opportunities out there that i'm looking at um, in terms of stuff stuff i mean i'm gravitating back dear user towards software sales after 10 years so scarborough center this is going to be my bop today base of operations go there plug in uh i got my uh you know bag I, I have everything except food i had peanuts i gave them to this guy you know it's an act of charity uh prophet muhammad said give to the homeless and god will take care of you take care of the homeless right so i always try and give something like money i don't carry generally i gave the guy peanuts peanuts are excellent for when you're feeling hungry you just take a handful of those guys so i wrote down my destination today scarborough center gothic font Yo, and I'm thanking God. This is what my wife does. This is very powerful. Praying out loud or writing down your prayers. This goddamn stuff will finish everything off. Like all your excuses, all this crap. Guys, um, there's stuff. Like, so I got my little plan for today written down. Right? I mean, yo, I was in jail. I told you this, and I think you know this. And I got out, and it's like I was there for a month, a couple of months. Silly stuff, mischief. I broke a chair at a cattle at cast at a subway station, Castle Frank Station, and or well both rather, I smashed the hand sanitizer at Shoppers Drug Mart. I'm not a violent person. When I was living on the street, I would of course take care of myself and all of this kind of shit. So park within a city, motherfuckers. That's Toronto. And I tell these people, you write down stuff, okay? Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Write write it down. Just write it down. It's going to happen, all this stuff. Guys, I tell these people. What people? These people. Do, do, do. I tell them, we live in an amazing city, right? They think it's a shitty city because they don't uh, value it. Now, you see all these subway stops there, user? You want to go You want to go on vacation. You want to go on a cruise around the world, right? You want to go to like Miami? You want to go to like Greece? Or, yo, you what you're asking for? Understand, like you're asking for lineups and fuck ups. Like your your vacation becomes like work, and you know what I'm talking about. And it's total shit. Rather, all of these subway stops, a lot of them, do 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 do. A lot of them. This is the the, the multicultural capital of the world, Torontopia. Right, so all of these fairy dust snorting wannabes and celebrity worshippers, they're Torontonians, Torontonians, Nintendo, Torontopia. So now there's like 70 of seven zero, 70 of these stops. And you've got every culture of the world in this goddamn shitty. The nice thing is that we don't as per multiculturalism, we don't have the bad shit. So they say, and I repeat. People like Noam Chomsky, that like, for a company the size and stature of Canada, Canada just ain't interested in imperialism. Imperialism. Imperia, imperia, imperialism. Okay, so Canada, they say, and it is the case, you can see it for yourself, right? Like, we're not interested in. I mean, I say we, I'm a, an immigrant. Thank you, Canada. Guys. Imperialism is the opposite of multiculturalism. These are not just fucking words. This is some kind of thing I came up with that I've thought about that I'd like you to think about. Guys, imperialism 
again, for this, a country the size and stature of Canada, Canada, this is what they say, and I'm repeating it, it's epic. Canada is not interested in, in, in imperialism. So now, imperialism is basically what superpowers, colonial powers, and any effing country like that, like the Netherlands were colo colonists, right? Stuff like this, like little, sh you know, they kicked some ass as well, by the way. The Dutch were something to be feared. Um, any country with, with wealth, more or less, engaged in imperialism, you want more money. So you go somewhere and you subjugate the masses. So now, I just gave away a book to one of my neighbors, right? And it was about the IMF and the WTO, right? And the World Bank. IMF, International Motherfuckers. Yo, that International Monetary Fund. They're fucking gangsters. They're banksters. There's a book called Confessions of a Financial Hitman. All right, this book is mandatory reading for people that actually do conduct business with banks or may or may not take out a loan, which you will do, like to buy a house, right? Anyway, guys, on a side note, rent to own and live where you, okay, live where you rent and own, rent where you live and own where you rent, something like this. You should be a renter and you should rent out your house. You should not live in your house. You should rent and have the freedom to live wherever you like. Whatever property you own should be rented out completely. Get a property manager. Hopefully the numbers crunch. You throw in a couple of bucks, hundred bucks or something like this. Two, three, five hundred dollars on some months to cover any shortage vis-a-vis -vis the property tax and the goddamn mortgage and the interest payments. You put someone in the house. Don't live in the house. Don't live in it and rent out half of it. You put someone in there. Anyway, so now, International Monetary Fund. This book, Confessions of a Financial Hitman, this goddamn guy is like, he was in it, like skin deep, neck deep. Not skin deep, neck deep. Like he was in it to win it. Sama, Sama. They had this thing project in Saudi Arabia called Sama. They used to laugh and they used to call it the Saudi Arabian money laundering affair. They knew what they were doing is the point. His higher ups at one point got wind of the fact that he was thinking of writing a book. It's an interesting and an amazing story and just the backstory of this book. Confessions of a financial hitman. Basically what they do is as follows. They go into your broken bust country. They bring billions of dollars on the one hand. Okay, it's the two-headed monster of democracy and capitalism. You got like all the diplomats saying, hey, we're going to help you rebuild. And then all the contracts, so they bring them billions of dollars and those billions of dollars are used to uh, pay contract local, like our, our Western contracting companies. Halliburton, like with Dick Cheney and this kind of fucking shit. So they go back there and they just like, they have these... The gravy train basically has begun for 10 years. They'll milk this fucking place. They're going to spend all that money. What's going to happen? You're going to get, unfortunately, you're going to get infrastructure projects that are total shit a lot of the times that you don't really need, right? This is Dufferin, like Duff beer. So you got to be like drinking beer like day and night just to offset the mental violence that's going to occur in your head as a result of your partaking in these nefarious activities. The guy always writes his book and he's doing the something else now. Just like Jordan Bell Font, the man himself. Well, he, he's a sharp young guy still in my, in, my, in my world. I'm amazed. Wolf of Wall Street. This guy starts his book high on quaaludes. Nobody knows what these are. I certainly don't. They're a pill. Bill Cosby, God curse this guy. Apparently, used to feed these pills to women and rape them, which is why he's going to die in jail. An old guy, probably beat up and busted up at some point along the way, because they don't like those kinds of people behind bars. Guys. guys, I was in jail. I mentioned this. I wrote on my book here, uh, Xbox this and that, right? But the, the thing is this: you check. Notepad, check, or a piece of paper, check. Okay, 15 fucking minutes. Okay, 15 minutes. That's all I'm asking, guys. 15 minutes, okay? This is like some vintage Torontopia. 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 
That's his Ozzy Ozzington uh, stop, eh? Ozzy. Yo, Ozzy's new album. I want to watch you kill. I want you to kill yourself and I will watch you bleed. That's like the first song. It's horrific. Yo, this guy used to bat, bite the heads off of bats and break the necks of fucking puppies and bite the heads off uh, pigeons. They say, they say, right? So my whole thing is, fuck this guy. Fuck this shit. Yo, I don't know where, where those puppies are, asshole. You write stuff down. You write anything down. Okay? You write some stuff down. 15 minutes. You write down what's on your mind. And the problem is this, that the thing that's on your mind, you don't think about. Do, 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 do. The thing that's on your mind, guys, you don't think about. You don't think about it and you feel overwhelmed. And this thing is draining. The goal is to... Oh, the goal is to... Okay, so... The goal is to overcome your thoughts. Right? Like, be clear. Like, as they are in Scientology. Like, they expunge thoughts and emotions. I don't know how to tell tell this to you, but, but to repeat it at the end of my videos, again and again, like, fuck, like repetition and shit. Perseverance commands success. Nice bicycle though, right guys? I need to get this goddamn thing tuned, right? It makes a difference of getting the bike tuned. Now, guys, all right. Uh, hopefully you can hear this. It's still, it's the numbers are still moving. And last time the sound was good as long as I shout. There does to be there does seem appear to be noise reduction in as much as um, yo, like you can hopefully make out what I'm saying. I wanted to say to you that in jail I fantasized about getting an Xbox. It's something I still fantasize about. I have Xbox three sixty games. What I'm trying to say is you put the thing together bit by bit. You have, like Joe Dispenza urges his viewers, a view, a picture of yourself and your world, the way it should be, the way you want it to be, right? Joe Dispenza comes on stage, he comes down from the stage, he's walking around, he's like, pew, 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 pew. The guy is amazing. The guy has hammered out the science of this whole thing, the law of attraction. It's amazing, like chemicals in your body and the next station thought is waves through the ether. And the guy's like a hardcore scientist, neuroscientist, physiotherapist, some kind of goddamn thing. He has labs and experiments, and they're doing studies over years with thousands of people, kind of stuff. And he's talking about law of attraction. Okay, and he comes off a stage. These things are staged. Ha, 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 ha. So he says the same thing. Vince Lombardi had the same speech. I saw Greg Duncan, he's like an Amway, like uh, crown, basically. Like he flies a private jet, a $15 million beer jet, this kind of goddamn thing. It costs 50 grand an hour, like just for him to go out to meetings. He spoke in Spokane, Washington, or Tacoma. My wife and I, both rather, we saw him speak. His speech, Brad Duncan's, was the exact same speech I heard on the CD of his going back like a couple of years prior to. I do the same thing. I have talking points. I keep talking the same thing, the same points. Guys, there's many talking points. There's many things. With regards to the law of attraction, Joe Dispenza comes off his, off his stage and he's like, he just says it. He's like, the, the problem here, more or less, he's talking about his audience. He's like, the problem or the thing, as it were, the thing is that you guys don't have a concrete picture. I don't know if you use the word visualization. You do not have a concrete visualization of the way you want your life to be. That fucking thing, okay, a microcosm of that is your day. Do you understand this thing? So now you have a book, you write down what you're doing today, which is which are all steps that you need to take to get where you're going. And that's what you stay focused on, guys. So I'm going to get going. I appreciate you watching. I, mi I, I mind the fact that I send this thing out to people and they don't even pay attention, or it appears they don't. So let me know. I'd appreciate it. Just like or unlike it. Like, don't
Don't tell me you're indifferent to this goddamn thing. Do, 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 do. This is old, man. So I was buying this yesterday, and I told the lady that when I punch someone, I'll be like, yo, peace, peace. Then I'll be like, do, do. Guys, so weird and wonderful things happen when you start to write stuff down. I read this, yo, gangster saying of Muhammad's in the last month. He said, ensnare your knowledge and trap it by writing it down. He also said, peace be upon him and his family. Remember what you know by right by um, by writing it down. Yeah, like read is the first word that was revealed of the Quran. Itra. So my wife is Christiana Bogotana, real, real uh, Christiana. No como aquí, mierde. Like over here, the Christians are like, whatever. You go to church una vez una, una semana. You go to church once a week, and it's like a big deal. My esposa is, is real Christiana. She's the, the real deal, right? She's Bogotana, Bucaramangana, in fact. She's in Bogota right now. Her brother's having a birthday party out there. And, yo, he's he's having one of these, like, zero-year birthday parties, if you know what I mean. Like, 30, 40, 50, dot, 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 right? I don't want to age ages or name names. Guys, Bucaramanga, Bucaramanga. So she's from a place called Bucaramanga. You have Cartagena, you go up the mountain, there's Santa Rosa on the coast there too. Beautiful places. I haven't been to Santa Rosa. Guys, Cartagena is very nice. And then you go on, on, on a boat tour out. You know, the water is like turquoise, emerald colored. And Colombia exports 60% of the world's emeralds, guys. It's incredible. So Santa Rosa, then you get on this boat in Cartagena and you go out to some island somewhere. And then uh, it's amazing. It's just amazing. Like this, this whole experience was just amazing. We went there para seis meses in 2008. In 2008, we went and lived there for six months. So now, and I, yo, I got a whole bunch of videos about this thing. If you're interested, with hundreds and thousands of views, youtubecom forward slash Zaidi boy. Z a i d i b o y. Zaidi is my last name, dear user. Z A I D I B O Y Z I D Boy. This is a new channel. I just got permission to upload long videos, and that's what I'm doing. If you're interested in any of this, you just go to that channel. I got a playlist about Colombia. I got a playlist about technology, all kinds of stuff. So I mention this from time to time. If you're interested in Colombia and seeing how amazing it is, you can check out my YouTube channel, uh, the original one there that I mentioned. Or, one of these ones, right? YouTube.com forward slash Zaidi Boy, Z A I D I B O Y, right? And there's a playlist there again. So I don't get nothing for you, uh, by you going there. I mean, I urge you to give me a comment here or like or dislike. I'm not worried about the subscriptions, right? The number of clicks as a marketer, like getting a reaction is what we're looking for, right? The number of people that click on the video is the first thing. Subscriptions are nothing. I mean, you don't get anything when people subscribe to your channel. All it's saying is that, well, I mean, if you've got like millions of subscribers, like six million, one million, a hundred thousand, then you know a given, it's just the numbers. The, a given amount of those people are probably going to click on your video. However, any given video can go viral. And any and for me, that's part of the, the thing. So. You know, if you're going to do this, guys, and I suggest you do, you get a nice cover photo, you get a nice profile picture. You got to be creative with this thing. The way to do it is to go and get, pay some guy to do either one or two things. You get a professional $150 headshot, like my green screen headshot with the plaid shirt, or do, 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 do. Number two is that you go to fiverr.com with two R's. You'll get a guy for 50 bucks, he'll turn your head into a cartoon head like the right way. And, and yo, he can put some writing in there, right? So I've got that plaid shot, that uh, plaid shirt shot, green screen background. Some dude turned it into a logo and, and there's a laptop and then there, it says DM4U, the number four, right? So digital marketing for you. It was my digital marketing agency. So just on a side note, right? So COVID, this pandemic, Hopefully you're coming through it and you've settled down. This was an opportunity to get online. Okay. 
why people didn't do this, I don't know. I like 10x, literally. Everyone wants to go online, right? You're running a restaurant. You can't have guests now. You need to go online. This is the Blur Street Bridge, eh, guys? I actually slept under this goddamn thing for a couple of months, like 2020, right, June? I was living under this thing. It's it's fenced off now. Like, I wish I could show you like more. It's, it's gone. So now, um, yeah, you get online. You get online, okay? So you can go to Dollarama. I'll show you. I'm doing it myself because I'm talking about it so much. This is what happens. The stuff that you talk about happens. The stuff that you write write down happens happens guys you got to write stuff down you got to talk about stuff okay so i've been saying to people go to dollarama i went to dollarama i've been saying get some nice shit from dollarama yo sap by the way i used to work for oracle sap is their number one competitor and their number one customer so stupid isn't it? like how how much fun it must be to be larry ellison you go to Dollarama, you get some nice stuff. You put it on eBay or Amazon. People are doing this. I used to do this. I'm doing it again just because it's shit. And I, I'm doing it like the hard way, bootstrapping it like ground zero, right? Guys, Suicide Squad, this fucking thing will fly off the the, the, the picture into somebody's face, right? Do, do, do. Now, I have like five of these hard, hard back. Guys, I have five of these hard back. Like, there's two Supermans. There's two, like, uh, these guys, the Suicide Squad. And then there's, like, Justice, like, Avengers or something. Now, here's the thing, guys. Like, I don't know what the price is exactly. You can see it, dear user. It says 20-something US. Right? That's, like, 30 bucks Canada. I bought this for $4, guys. Four fucking dollars. Like, look at this blowout, right? This first thing right here. Boo! You take a picture of this, right? So it's like they say this graphic novel. It says in here, it's just like watching a fucking movie. And my my Sally, he used to call me Sally. My cellmate said, yo, watch the Justice League fucking movie. And I'm trying to understand or come to terms or to learn about this Marvel universe and who the fuck is in it. And is Batman in there? I don't think so, right? Because that's DC. Guys, again, the price on this thing. Okay, there you go. It's like 20 some odd. Okay, 16 USA. Whatever. It says, it sells itself. New York Times bestseller. There's the DC logo. So now, you got like some girls trying to follow me on Twitter. Or she followed me. Like, and, and so um, I, I, I looked at her profile. And it's like. It's the usual shit. Like, I, I was interested because she looks like one of my friends in Calgary. So this girl is, like, is posing and, and like, she's beautiful and she's got all these pictures. Guys, take care of this stuff. These are, like, going to be antiques in a few years in any case. You, you take some nice pictures of the stuff with your nice new camera, your iPhone. That's one of the things I don't have. Like, I have a shit eater phone. And, uh... You know, you got to do it right, right? My, my phone is total shit, right? You got to do the thing right. And I'm giving you the key to the thing. Gary Vaynerchuk, who follows me on Twitter, is the guy who suggests this route of making money online. You go to Dollarama, you buy some effing stuff that pops out at you. This stuff is easy because it's priced. The girl behind the counter yesterday said, yeah, like these fly off the shelves and a lot of people buy them. Don't lands. I know these are the bad lands. Somehow I'll find my. I hope this is recording, dear user. I deleted some, uh, uh, like a video or two off of here because this thing, it's a Chromebook I'm using and it's amazing. It's amazing, as you can see. So the now, go to Dolram. You get some stuff. You spend like X amount of money. You spend 100 bucks. Your goal is to sell the stuff for at least 100 bucks plus service charges, plus taxes, plus shipping. It's possible, right? It's not hard. People are doing it. You go to Google. You, you Google seller's account Amazon, seller's account eBay. And you go there, you open up an account. It takes 20 minutes. 
They'll ask for documentation. Then, guys, the picture will sell this thing for you. Just like with a Facebook ad, the picture will sell the thing for you. If you put a Facebook ad together and you target, let's say, women in Nashville who are a certain age and they like elephants or something, and this is all possible. Facebook, for example, monitors where your mouse is hovering on the screen and they're grabbing so much data that they, big business, as it were, they have, I come from them, that background, right? Like, yeah, I used to work for big tech, like SAP and Oracle. I used to work for Oracle, right? And it's, it's an interesting thing. I don't know what to say. Like, with software, like, I'm more or less, like, looking at the numbers, it's a scam. It's a scam. There's no ROI. You spend a hundred grand, two, three hundred grand, millions of dollars, tens of millions of dollars on software. And only 20% of software acquisitions lead to an ROI. When I was at Computer Associates, they were going through some kind of accounting scandal in the early 2000s, something like this. I was there mid 2000s. SAC gave them a deferred prosecution agreement, the Securities and Exchange Commission. They had to get a chief ethics officer, myself and all the all new employees basically uh, had to take ethics training. Now, they had to, among other things, spend 100, what they ended up doing is spending 100 million, this was so that they don't go to jail. The CEO got scapegoated and he went to jail anyway. Like They were doing like stuff with the books in accounting instead of, 31 days of December, they had 35 days so they can pull a deal in from the, the next year into the previous year and have a have a better year, this kind of thing. The CEO was in jail for 12 years. I don't know if he's still there. I don't think so. I, I wouldn't think that would be the case. Company was going to go bankrupt. If the SEC, SEC prosecuted, if the SEC prosecutes a public company, it's, it's destroyed. Like the share price goes down to zero. It's destroyed. Like it loses billions of dollars like elon musk smoking a joint and then later tweeting i think tesla shares are too high guys open up a seller account you put stuff on there the picture is going to sell it you can target some lady who likes elephants you can sell her an elephant pendant this is another way of doing it this is another way of doing what i've been trying to show you right you grab some stuff physically and put it onto eBay and Amazon. This is going to get your feet and hands wet. And you're going to get this basic experience of all of the, the little pieces. Like in sales, there are people that swear by face to face. Like I'm eyeball to eyeball, the person will say. I'm like old school, mano y mano. I need to see the person. I need to see this man. Like this guy needs to come around there and we need to sit down like eye to eye. Like in, even mafiosi, they talk about having a sit down or you go for a walk. Like Steve Jobs used to uh, walk around, like walk and talk. It's, it's good stuff. Now you go online, you open an eBay uh, seller's account, Amazon seller's account. You can sell the shit. You'll lose your mind. This is my point. The whole fucking point is you'll That's lose your fucking three. mind. Your That's mind will be doo, doo, doo. okay. Now guys, you can automate it later on. The point of doing any of this would be to automate it, A, and to scale it, B. You work on your business, not inside of it. You have a virtual assistant in Thailand or Malaysia or the Philippines or Pakistan or India or San, Sal San Salvador, some, yo, El Salvador, San El Salvadoriano, right? You uh, automate the thing and scale it. Scale, and scale it and automate it. So it just goes gangbusters at one point it reaches critical mass and it's like boo like the problem with this thing for me was that you wake up it says congratulations like i want to go jogging right i i need to pray i want to work out right and it usually takes me at least a couple of hours versus you wake up and it says congratulations this thing has sold and the customer's waiting for you to ship it, right? And so you start your day and you get two, three, five emails. And then there's like support and service emails. Like, where is this thing? Like, can I have a tracking number? Can I change the color? Like, I'd like two or blah, blah, blah. 
it's like shit, right? So what I'm doing right now with these comic books, this is, of course, just traditional shipping, right? Drop shipping is the second option. Next station is Victoria Park. You sell an elephant pendant from AliExpress.com to a lady interested in this thing because she clicked on your ad in Facebook. She's interested in elephants. You showed her an ad with these beautiful little jade elephants. The picture will sell it. You need to take a picture that smashes your eyeballs into the back of your head. This fucking thing needs to jump out of the page like right it needs to do that it needs to do that and what you write under it is not important right you're in china as far as they're concerned you're like some random guy it's a facebook ad so you have some trust and credibility you need to do the due diligence with the supplier aliexpress you look up the the guy who's actually going to physically send these things out they need to have five stars and a lot of reviews and all these things just like when you go to fiverr.com with two r's your virtual assistant who you who you hire needs to have five stars and lots of reviews. And you need to have five stars and lots of reviews whenever Reminded you show up. Park. Like on Google Maps Victoria and stuff. Park. You need to ask your goddamn customers and people that you work with for for little like bullet points and things that you can put out there, right? Especially like Google Maps five stars or if you're on Yelp. Right, get them to click and give you some reviews, and these things make a lot of difference. Right, so now, when you are selling on Amazon or eBay, the beauty of that is you do not need your own website, and you certainly do, do not need an e commerce site. Okay, so I'm a blogger, among other things, and I know that people are interested in content and not the creative in terms of the style it's they want the form not the like basically if i keep looking at the timer dear user it says 37 minutes right so but i just hope it's still recording guys this is victoria park right city within a park guys toronto i used to live uh, around here vic park and danforth i used to call it vic park and dhaka dhaka which is the capital of bangladesh show. so now Shopify is the alternative to selling on eBay and Amazon. Shopify is an e-commerce do-it-yourself kind of deal, okay? Don't do it yourself is the thing there. You get someone on Fiverr again and there are people like there's really good people that do this. You spend some money and they will set up your store properly. Now, you need to make sure the back end is set up correctly and they'll probably help you with this. I don't know, like the Shopify route. Uh, I've tried it. I've played around with Shopify. I've paid to do this thing, and I've had stuff on there. And then I like realized the hard way that you can't just set up your own e-commerce store and expect, you know, you've got pictures on there and you've got prices, and you think people are going to click on this thing and pay, pay money, and put their credit card info in. It's not going to happen. But using someone on Fiverr to put the thing together for you, you sell something off of AliExpress.com to someone who you've targeted on Facebook, put together an ad, and it doesn't take that long. Uh, and you may be the person who this works for, right? I've tried these things. It doesn't work for everyone. Like some of the stuff has worked for me. I've sold on eBay and Amazon, but not Shopify. So I had a buddy who was selling on there and I bought a smartwatch from him just to support him, right? So in any case, Shopify is the alternative. Guys, go to, Dollarama and leave me a comment and click or un unclick like like or dislike or some goddamn thing. Yo, call your mom. Yo, and stop bothering people. Yo.